Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the study manuals for the T's. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problems that we are about to solve are the ones that you will find on page number 58. Please start doing page number 58 and today is our lesson number 6. We are going to do the practice questions that you see at the bottom of the page there. The practice problems, there are four of them. Number one. Practice questions. As I said, there are four of them. Number one says, what is the product of 2 and 3 eight and 2 thirds? Well, the very first thing we have to figure out is what this 2 and 2 thirds is in terms of improper fraction as, as opposed to a mixed fraction. 2 and 2 2 and 3 eight is sim same as 2 2 plus 3 eight, which of course is same as well how can we write 2 how can we express 2 so that it has the same denominator as this guy which is 8 this guy is 3 over 8 we need to express 2 as some number divided by 8 and that some number is going to be 16 16 divided by 8 is 2 plus 3 eight which of course 16 plus 3 is going to give us 19 8 which makes perfect sense because what we are supposed to do here is 2 times 8 which is 16 plus 3 is 19 19 8 so we have 19 8 times 2 third is there anything that we can reduce anything that we can simplify well if we see an 8 we see a 2 there let's divide the top and the bottom by 2 shall we we divide top by 2, this becomes 1 and this becomes 4. That's it, that's all we can do here. Nothing else is divisible here. So we get 19 times 1, which is just 19 on the top. And on the bottom, we're going to get 4 times 3, which is 12. We're not quite done yet. 19 over 12 can be written as 12 over 12 plus a 7 over 12. 12, 12 is 1, and 7, 12 is 12, 12, 12 plus 712 is going to give us 19, 19 twelfths. And of course 12 twelfths is just 1, so what we end up at the end is 1 and 7 twelfths as our answer. So that was number 1. Let's go on then, number 2. Number 2. We have 5 third divided by 4 15. And of course we know that when we have one fraction, when we have one fraction being divided by another fraction, we learned yesterday that all we do is we take the first fraction and we multiply it by the reciprocal of the second fraction. Reciprocal of the second fraction. Let's put it here. When we have one fraction being divided by another fraction, what do we do? We take the first fraction, take the first fraction. and multiply it by the reciprocal of the second one. Reciprocal is just a very fancy way of saying turn it upside down. So if you turn it upside down 4 15 will become 15 over 4 and that's all. That looks weird to me actually. But that's exactly what it is. 
Is there anything that we can reduce here? Always look for it before you before you carry on. We see a 15 here, we see a 3 here. If you were to divide the top and bottom by 3, this 3 will drop out, will come become 1. And 15 has how many 3's? 5 3's are 15. So what we end up here is 5 times 5, which is 25 over 4. And of course 25 over 4, 25 over 4 can be written as 24 over 4 plus 1 over 4. And 24 over 4 is just 6. So we end up with 6 and 1, 6 and a quarter. The final answer is 6 and a quarter. 6 and a quarter. Number 3. Number 3. Number 3 says 3 plus. Three plus two third times nine tenth. Now here you have to remember what we learned on very first day of our lessons, lesson number one, day number one. We learned on the first day a concept called pandas, which shows us, which which tells us rather, the order of operations. And PEMDAS tells us that we do the parentheses first. Well, there are no parentheses in this expression. Then we do the exponents. There are no exponents in this expression. But the next comes multiplication. We see an addition and we see a multiplication. Which operation should we do first? Well, the PEMDAS tells us that multiplication comes before the addition. So we must do the multiplication of these two quantities first. Let's do it on the bottom here. So first we have to do the multiplication which is 2 third times 9 tenth. We must do that first and then once we find that answer then we add 3 to it. So here we have 2 third times 9 tenth divide top and bottom by 3. This 3 is going to drop out and 9 is going to become 3. This is just 1. Divide top and bottom by 2. This 2 is going to drop out. It will become 1 and 10 will become 5. That's just 1 over 1. That's just 1 and we end up with 3 fifths. We end up with 3 fifths. So what we're looking for, so that was this part right here. So what we're looking for here is 3 plus this quantity, which we know is 3 fifth. 3 plus 3 fifth is simply 3 and 3 fifth is the answer. Of course, 3 plus 3 fifth is going to be 3 and 3 fifth, because this quantity we just found out is 3 fifth. So it's 3 and 3 fifth is our answer. Next, number 4. Let's see what number 4 has to say, the very last one. Number 4. What is the quotient? What is the quotient of 4 and 2 third divided by 6. Now listen, here I'm going to pause for a second and give you a little sermon here, a brief sermon. It is important, it is vital, it is crucial, it is imperative that you watch these bloody videos in the proper sequence because the concept build on each other. I do not have the luxury of keep of repeating the same concepts over and over again. We already learned what that means in plain English language. We learned it yesterday, as a matter of fact, as, uh, as far as I can remember, yesterday, either day number five or day number four. What does it say? What does, it, what does this thing mean in English language for Christ's sake? What does it mean in English language? It means, I'm going to tell you one more time, this is just a very fancy, a bloody annoying way of saying, annoying way of saying, what is, what is the result, what is the result which is, which is a fancy way of saying quotient. Quotient is the result of a division, uh, division process. If you divide one number by the other, the answer that we get in the problem of a division, that answer that we get at the end when we divide one number by the other, the answer is called the quotient. So here the question is, what is the result 
what is the result, what is the answer when, when 4 and 2 thirds is divided by 6 that's what they are asking for that's what, that, that's what the translation is let's find out shall we first thing we have to do is figure out 4 and 2 thirds how can we express that as an improper fraction well that's quite straightforward that is simply 4 plus a 2 third how can we write 4 how can we express 4 so that is the denominator of 3 what number divided by 3 is going to give us 4 and the answer of course is 12 12 threes are or rather 12 divided by 3 is 4 so there you go that's your 4 plus 2 third now they are the same denominator all we have to do is add up the numerator so we get 14 14 over 3 now we have to do our division part and what do we do when when one fraction is being divided by another fraction it says here when one fraction is being divided by another fraction well I don't see another fraction I just see 6 well 6 actually is fraction incognito Every number is a fraction because any number can be written as 1. Any number can be written as a fraction. 25 is a fraction because 25 can be written as 25 over 1. 37 is, can be written as 37 over 1. So that is actually a fraction. So here we have one fraction. This part, which we just found out is 14 over 3, being divided by another fraction, which is 6 over 1. And what do we do? When we have one fraction being divided by another fraction, it tells us here that we have to, we have to take the first fraction and multiply it by the reciprocal of the second one. So let's do that, shall we? Let's do that. Where can we do it? So we already know this is this is 14 and third. So we have 14 and third being divided, being divided by 6 over 1, which is going to be the same as 14 and third times 1 over 6. I hope you can read it uh, this far down. Now we have a 6 at the bottom, we have 14 on the top, since they are both even number, let's divide top and bottom by 2. We divide top and bottom by 2, 6 is going to become 3, and 14 is going to become 7. That's it. So we get 7 times 1, which is 7, and on the bottom we get 3 times 3, which is 9. And that's our answer. 7, 9 is our final answer. And since, since 7... Since 7 is less than 9, since 7 is less than 9, since the numerator is smaller than the denominator, this is known as a proper fraction. We cannot write this as a, as a mixed fraction. That's it. That's the answer. 7 9. Well, that was the end of the show for today. Let's see what we have tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to start a new topic where we're going to talk about multiplying by decimals. Alright? Bye now.